CrossFit gigs. A, um, a favourite DJ of mine, you know, who shall remain nameless, he was playing. And the last time I saw him DJ, you know, we had done it. I know that smell. It was joss sticks. And when you have a favourite DJ or favourite band, it's a lot like having a crush, but without that kind of like, that crippling sense of this is never going to work out. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> no. No. But you know, it's a lot like a crush in that you sort of like, all of a sudden your friends kind of like send you all the information about them. Oh, I just thought you'd like this. You know, kind of like, which is infinitely preferable to when your friends kind of like realise that you like someone and they know that you know, and you know that they know, but they don't know, but they know that you know, and they know and keep sending you that information. Oh yeah, I saw someone that you know, did you? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's not a big deal. Oh, yeah, how were they? <laughs> Tell me. <clears throat> were they all right? Yeah, thank you. No, no reason, no reason, no reason. <laughs> but anyhow, the DJ. So I just turned up, oh so casually, you know, sort of like on the guest list, my life was struggle. You know, sort of like, oh hi Mr. DJ, casually having a fang. Um, I don't know if you remember him. He took one look and said, yeah, I remember the face. And it's sort of like my inner fang. I was like, oh really? Yeah, it's just like, so I just thought you'd like these joss sticks. No reason. It was just like, oh thanks, that's really nice of you. It was just like, yes, I'm so glad of my diverse upbringing. I really am for once. <laughs> 